Hi there, I'm Darren McDermott. Well, yesterday Poland decided to continue its cycle of cutting rates and lowered its reference rate by 2.5%. I have Mateusz Szurek, chief economist at ING in Warsaw, on the line. So, in the second quarter, the Slotty endured its worst three months in almost two years. The Slotty's weakening since mid-May didn't actually hold them back from cutting rates again. And of course, you were expecting this, weren't you? Well, frankly, the, uh, the actual cut was uh, perfectly expected by pretty much everyone. I mean, both the economists and the markets have been pricing in 25 basis point uh, rate reduction. Uh, the, um, this was well flagged by the dominant uh, DAV option in the, in the council. The previous uh, meeting, uh, we now know this, uh, the, 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 the rate uh, cut decision went through uh, with a uh, tiny uh, majority. Uh, it, was, it was the governor's um, vote which, which um, decided it was 5 to 5 vote. Uh, it was probably the same this time around. Um, but uh, the uh, but still, um, we knew that the five uh, proponents of of the rate cut were were there in place to to vote for it. Uh, the uh, the this not a weakness importance was not that crucial, uh, I think, because uh, in the current um, in the current uh, environment, the weaker lottery was actually beneficial for the Polish economy. Uh, would allow to protect um, uh, from uh, from deflation or excessively low inflation. Um, would allow for um, well, would save employment uh, in the environment of very low domestic demand and uh, quite poor external demand also. So um, the central bank could afford to to ignore this lot of weakness. And inflation has been consistently falling, and it now stands at zero point five percent. Do you think the central bank will keep rates on hold until they get inflation higher? And when do you see this actually happening? Well, the rate cut itself was not a surprise at all. Uh, what was uh, striking uh, at the uh, post-meeting press conference was a very clear signal that this is the end uh, of the rate um, cutting cycle, which started last November at uh, 4.75%, we are now at 2.5%, uh, and this was explicitly um, set in the in, in the statement. Uh, so no rate changes for for a while. Um, the governor um, mentioned that he sees himself he sees uh, the rates to, to remain unchanged until uh, the end of the year at least. Uh, and looking at the official central bank forecast. Um, they they point to inflation staying well below um, the target of 2.5% uh, until 2015. Uh, our own forecast point to um, to inflation being below the target in 2014. Also, 2015, uh, the average would have 2.4%, so quite close. Um, either way, um, we don't really expect the rate hikes to happen until early 2015, the earliest. Um, the domestic demand is still too poor for that, and inflation uh, problems are not really there. And in terms of a market reaction, how did the slotty react to the decision and comments made? The, the currency itself was not that affected by the, uh, by the rate decision. I mean, the, the rate decision itself was, was uh, totally neutral for the slotty. It was, it was fully expected. Um, the, the, the probably more hawkish comment did um, uh, put some strengthening uh, pressure on the lot, uh, but it was not particularly um, uh, particularly strong. Uh, in the, um, the the Polish yield curve uh, indeed moved uh, up a little, uh, the short end of the curve. Uh, so uh, two year swaps, two year bonds um, uh, traded a bit higher in yield uh, as a result of of this uh, strong message that this is the end. Um, and no more rate cuts will, will be delivered. Uh, so, uh, but, but the glass itself was slightly stronger, but not uh, not that much. So, the problem with with the Polish um, exchange is that it's still quite strongly linked with what's going on in the um, uh, with the foreign bond holdings. So, any good news um, for um, for the long end of the yield curve, so for ten-year bonds. Um, and that's good news for the Zloty too. 
Um, a rate um, a rate cut itself is might be positive, but uh, I promise of no more cuts uh, might be a bit less. So, um, so in a sense, um, anything that that's supporting this loss is um, uh, a, a uh, explanation that, that the rate cuts will be limited or, or no more de- delivered no more. Um, this is this might be good for the market, but if it uh, if it hurts the ten year bonds, uh, then it's uh, the impact is um, is is more blunt, more blunted. Great, thank you very much for that. Well, viewers, I will also be speaking to an analyst from Danske Bank today in Belfast to have a look at the Bank of England decision. So make sure you also watch that. Have a splendid day.